Well, well, <laughs> look who it is. I have so much to share with you guys. Obviously, I have been not on the internet, not posting YouTube videos, barely on Instagram or any other social media channel for about six or seven weeks. And it's just that last little bit of 2020 was just really trying to get me, <laughs> but I prevailed and here we are. So I thought I would just start off 2022 with a clean slate, sort of explaining where I've been, what's been going on. I know so many of you have reached out to me expressing, you know, how worried you were or how much you've missed me. And I, you have no idea how much that has meant to me. So sorry about the girls. They are still very much themselves, very puppy-like, um, playful. Uh, we'll get into it. Um, I guess it all started with, I'm trying to remember what came first. I had a, a little bit of dental work. I had to get a crown that I had been putting off for literally years. And I, I'm not afraid of the dentist, but I was very anxious about that procedure for some reason. I just had never had a crown before. I hate being numb. I hate feeling like I can't talk or eat or I don't know. I just was being a bit of a baby about the numbing situation. Um, I was worried it was gonna hurt really bad. I don't know, so I'd been putting it off, putting it off. And the last time I went to get my cleaning, the dentist was like, you were gonna end up in an emergency dental situation. It's gonna cost you three times as much as it would if we were just to schedule it. Um, so we need to get this done. I had like a crack. Um, so went and got that done. It wasn't, the procedure wasn't bad, but I think all the anxiety and all of the like stress that I had caused myself in preparation for it and that day and everything else felt like my body didn't react well to all the stress hormone that I was releasing in the days leading up and then that actual day. So the days following it, I felt like, you know, all the brain fog and everything like that. If you have any sort of autoimmune disorders, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so it was just a little bit down for the count for those couple days, but I kept thinking like, oh, you know, all the, this to-do list I've got, you know, I'll just get to it whenever I'm feeling better. No big deal. Well, then I get into a car accident. Um, it was a minor car accident, but a major headache. You know what I'm saying? We were at the mall, Dan and me. You're not going very fast in the mall. I totally get it. But she had a big car and I have a little car and she just sideswiped me. She said the sun got in her eyes. She got disoriented and just drove her car into my car. Um, and so that was the week before Thanksgiving. I couldn't even bring my car into the shop to get like the assessment done or whatever for like four days because of the holiday. They were telling me about all the supply chain issues they were having and delays in getting parts, yada, yada, yada. I wasn't gonna get my car back for a month. Um, so I was able to get a rental and was back on the road. No big deal, right? But again, couple more days go by where I'm like down for the count. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I don't have a car, you know, I was able to drive my car, but I couldn't get in and out of the driver's seat. I had to literally crawl through the passenger seat, which was really just like not something that I wanted to do. So I was kind of avoiding going anywhere and doing anything. And just a little bit like bummed, you know, about that I had plans for Thanksgiving, you know, all that kind of stuff. Then the Saturday after Thanksgiving, I had a friend over because she wanted me to help her make something, a gift for her mom. Um, she calls me the following Tuesday. She has COVID. I've been exposed. Then it all really began. So I did test positive for COVID that following Saturday, like a week after I was exposed and um, felt symptoms weren't terrible. I just was super, super, super tired. Um, so basically slept nonstop for about a week and a half. Um, didn't do anything, didn't care that I wasn't doing anything. Like I just wanted to sleep and that's it. The, you know, congestion and all of that wasn't super bad in the beginning. <clears throat> I do still have a cough. Um, like I said, that was this Saturday after Thanksgiving. So it's been six, seven weeks at this point. Still can't smell anything. Um, it's just been a very interesting experience with the COVID. 
Um, it was my first time getting it, hopefully <laughs> my last. Um, and you know, was really just focused on recovery and nothing else. Uh, but like I said, didn't need to be hospitalized, didn't even need to see a doctor, just manage the symptoms on my own, still managing the symptoms on my own. So that was oh, about two weeks where I was just like out, 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 like not functioning at all. Um, and then as I started to come out of the COVID, I had an appointment scheduled for Biscuit to get spayed. Um, she had the same issue that Honey had where when the ideal time for her to get spayed early on, her kidney values or kidney functions, her kidney wasn't functioning well enough for the um, anesthesia. So we had to keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. So here we are the week before Christmas um, and Biscuit finally um, gets, her, gets cleared to have anesthesia. So the Wednesday before Christmas, she goes in, gets spayed, we leave all is well. You guys don't know Biscuit very well, but she is our wild one. She is our just crazy, crazy girl. Um, so go figure, come Sunday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, she's had stitches for barely four days, takes one of the stitches out. <clears throat> Monday takes the other stitch out. So now girlfriend is running around here with no stitches. I have no idea what is holding her wound closed, but it's not bleeding. It's not oozing. I'm sending pictures to the vet. He's saying, you can come in if you want. We can give her stitches if you want, but really like, if you just keep an eye on her, this will probably be fine. So what does keep an eye on her mean? Like a hawk, like I didn't let her out of my sight, which also meant I couldn't come in here. I couldn't film. Like even now, like I'm not paying any attention to what they're doing. They could be destroying the apartment, who knows? But I, you can't keep an eye on her whenever you're filming and distracted or even sewing or anything else. So there goes a couple more days. All that to be said, finally, finally, on Monday, this couple days ago, she got cleared. They took a look at her wound, everything's fine. Very, very low risk that anything is going to <laughs> come open or whatever, whatever that would look like. Um, so she's good. I'm good, minus this little annoying chest congestion I have in the mornings and in evenings. Honey is wonderful. Um, Dan is great. Um, we're just finally just, like I said, it was just like one thing after the other after the other. Once one thing was like resolved and better, here comes something else. And then once that was kind of taken care of, boom, here's something else. So hopefully this will have ripped off the Band-Aid um, you guys know what's up. I have sort of cleared the air about what's been going on. I don't know what you guys were thinking might be going on. Um, probably health and or holidays to very logical explanations for, you know, that time of year. And yes, it was all of that. Um, this is Little Biscuit. If you haven't met her before, you want to see her stitches. That's her wound. Mind you, honey, you can't even tell she got spayed. Biscuit is going to have this gnarly, gnarly <laughs> scar her whole life, which you know what is just super indicative of the kind of puppy that she is. She's just our wild, wild girl and got a mind of her own and just does what she wants. No matter how many sedation medicines I give her or how much I think I'm paying attention to her, I go take a shower and come back out and she's not have stitches anymore. So she's our little one, but she's doing really, really well. So either way, the point of this video is to just sort of let you guys know what was going on, that I am back, ripping the band-aid off, doing this first video, getting all the, what is it called? What's this saying? Like dusting off the cobwebs? Is that, <laughs> did I just make that up? You know what I mean? Like if you're a little rusty, you know, shaking all that off um, so that I can start to bring you guys all the amazing content you come to expect from me. I've got so many great ideas and also a massive thank you for being so supportive and understanding and patient with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you very soon. I'm, I'm really, really excited and I hope you guys are too. So I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.